Hey everybody, period one, educated elite. I want to take a look today. I posted this on Teams. And I think I posted it on the assignments on the school webpage as well, but it's definitely on Teams. Today I want to talk about Islam. Specifically, we started this chapter, chapter nine, which is about religion and morality by talking about the basic question of all, re of all people, all the way back to the time of Socrates, which is basically, how should we conduct our lives? Islam offers us probably the clearest answer of all the major faiths. Islam has something called the Sharia. Sharia is the answer Islam gives to the question of Socrates about how we should live. And it is on pages 209, 210, 211, 212, 213, and it ends at 213 when they begin to make the transition over to Confucius. It's interesting because it's very simple in Sharia law, the law of Islam. The basis of morality is the will of Allah. Very simple, clear cut. Morality is based on the divine will alone. It is not based on human reason. It is not based on situations. It is based on the will of Allah and the will of Allah as revealed in the Quran. Now, the interesting thing about this as you read is that while morality is based on the will of, of Allah, thus we should live according to the divine will of Allah, it's not static. It's not something at the bottom of page 210. It says, it specifically says that it is really not static. It's written in stone, but it's kind of not written in stone because there are things that are present today that just simply were not present during the time of Muhammad. And those things require answers to the people of Islam. So on page 211, they've got three paragraphs that you're going to have to take time, and you're going to have to read and read and read and read, because they talk about the sources of Sharia law. Of course, it's going to begin with the Quran. The Word of God written by Muhammad. It is the Holy Scripture. It is in Infallible. They are, they are Allah's infallible revelations to Muhammad. They cannot be questioned. They also talk about the Sunnah, which are customs of the Prophet Muhammad. Not too different from Christian Christian religions. Then they're going to talk about what they call analogical reasoning. The Quran and the Sunnah do not address everything that's happening in the world today. So they have trained interpreters of the law that will interpret different things for today. And these people are accepted as leaders and it, what they say kind of will go. So it is a living law, the Sharia. Sharia is a living law. It is not static. It has been changing and evolving since the earliest days of Islam. So I want you to read this section. And what I'm interested in, in from you, two actually two different groups. We've got a Hamza because he has the Quran committed to memory, and then we're going to have the rest of us. The rest of us, after reading through this, and you're going to have to read this, how does this compare or contrast with what you believe yourself? 
you, each of you, because I've read them, you sent them to me, each of you has already written to me how you should conduct your life. What, what's the guiding force for you to conduct your life? And it's been a wide, wide spectrum. Today, I want you to take what you have and compare it to what Islam presents. How, what can you take from Islam that makes sense to you when you can use and what you look at and you go, you know, that really isn't kind of what I, what I think. It's interesting, but it's not what I think. I want to take a look at these. I want you to go on to Microsoft Teams and I want you to let me know what you think. Quick post. Quick means 40 words, not a thousand words. Give me a quick post on this. If you're reading, if you're looking at this before we meet today, today is Thursday, April 9th. If you're looking at this before we get to Zoom tonight, there's a different question on Zoom tonight, and we will get to that later. I hope you find this interesting. This chapter is absolutely fascinating for me. We had a good chat the other night, hoping to have a good chat tonight. Until then, peace. I will see everybody shortly. Bye-bye.